Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium R-Line. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with marl brown and black leather interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED all-weather lights, that much more aggressive R-Line front grille, R-Line badging right here by the headlight, 21 inch Brazelton R-Line wheels, R-Line badging on both uh, the front quarter panels there, silver roof rails and that nice deep bow line down the side underneath the door handles. Before I go around to the other side, let's take a look at the passenger door seat or the passenger seat. Power seat right here, no power lumbar there though, but this is a leather seat. Marl brown on the inset here and black leather on the exterior part here and then this part here with the contrast stitch goes up the bolster behind the shoulders and into the headrest here as well the headrests are all black door inset right there we'll take a look at that again on the other side but let's go around you'll notice body colored paint below the chrome line on the base there faux quad exhaust tips on the back here under under that oversized reflector there it does say Atlas right here above the license plate and below the new Volkswagen logo there and SEL V6 off to the left. The window surrounds are chrome all the way around. That's only on the SEL Premium. The SEL will have it just on the bottom part of the window sill. Keyless entry is on four doors. You also have power folding mirrors. Let's take a look inside. Marl Brown right here on the inset with this premium stitch right here. The arm pad right here also has that marl brown and a leatherette pattern or fabric right there. And then uh, the armrest here has uh, silver tips on the window, the window buttons here. Power mirrors, power uh, folding mirrors, heated mirrors as well. Uh, the heated mirror icon or uh, button is actually in the rear defrost button there. But here's a look at the driver's seat. It's a marl brown with black. Black headrest here, marl brown and the inset here. These seats are heated and ventilated and they are real leather. Three seat memory right here and then your lumbar support right here, forward and back right here, seat back adjust there. And before we climb in here, here's a look at the second row captain's chairs and then also that third row back there. Again, this is marl brown and black leather interior. Those second row seats are also heated as well. The headrests are all black. The edges of the seats are trimmed out in black. As we climb in here, here's a look at the dash and around the cabin here. Carbon fiber finish right here in the door panel that goes across into the dash here and comes across into the door over here. Fender premium audio. So you've got a subwoofer in a trunk and speakers all around. Uh, and then you do have this flat silver finish on the vents that trims out the radio here and goes across. It's a telescoping steering wheel. So you pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you need it. It's adjustable. There's that new Volkswagen logo right there. The flat silver finish on the spokes here and then a splash of piano black with the R-Line badge down here at the base of the steering wheel. It's got this sport grip on the R-Line models that comes at nine and three. It's kind of like the dimple golf ball feel there. Very nice, gives it a sporty grip. Automatic headlights right there. Your all weather lights, you just pull out on that. But like They're like fogs. Uh, this little icon lights up here, that's your symbol for your all weather lights. Um, and then you also have dynamic cornering lights as well. Coin box for storage right here. Chrome covered pedal caps down here, or stainless steel, I should say. Um, the footrest is just regular, regular hard footrest right there. It's not covered in chrome or uh, stainless steel there, but these two are. I do have my pug socks on today. Those are pretty nice. And then you do also have an AM, FM, and satellite radio with gesture control. As long as you see that hand right there, you can actually wave your hand in front of it. And again, I'm not getting that to work, but I promise you the gesture control is there. So you can actually wave your hand in front of it. It sees it and it wakes it up. There it goes. I got it to go. Also, this one has App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly. Down here, there's a wireless charge pad, so you can charge your phone in the case right here. Unless you're using a pop socket, then that won't work. Uh, but you do also have two USB-C connections right here and here and then a 12 volt charger port right there as well On this radio too. It does also have navigation The navigation screen is right here I can actually take it and move it over to behind the steering wheel just by checking these boxes here 
Now it's gonna show up in an instrument cluster here. This is a digital cockpit pro. This is a customizable cockpit, digital cockpit here. So this is the dial screen. By hitting the view button on the steering wheel right here, I can actually change that to widescreen, hit it again, and now I'm on a crop screen here. I personally like the widescreen the most. And then also these up and down arrows here I can use to zoom in and zoom out. So I'm gonna zoom in right there. Over here on the left is my temperature gauge. Over here on the far right, there's my fuel gauge. These bars disappear as you consume fuel. That's how you know where you're at on fuel. Now this unit is sold, but uh, I wanted to make a video of it because I haven't made one of a 2022 in white yet. So here's a look, there's a speaker right there, the nice storage bin right here. And then here's a look at the mirror. It's an auto dimming home link mirror with uh, four years of home link connect included, a subscription. There's four buttons here, three for your garage door memory and a Bluetooth button here, digital compass right there. And then up here, there's your vanity mirror and light. You have that on each side. And then you also have this giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. The sunroof does open this pane of glass here, stacks on top of that one back there. Uh, but the sunshade goes all the way back so your front row and second row passengers are all under glass and that's by pushing that button there you lift up and push back there's a look at the sunshade the sunroof uh how it stacks on top of the other pane of glass there pop-up windscreen right here and the close that now this glass is tinted on the sunroof and all of the windows except for the front two windows are tinted on the atlas as well there's a look at that door panel inset over there, that Morrow Brown, and look at the seat here again. Very nice, very comfortable. Uh, the backup camera on this car, I have trajectory steering, I turn the wheel left or right. The yellow line moves accordingly. The green line signifies straight back and the red line signifies where my bumper is. Also with this car, I do have park assist and park pilot, park assist, allows me to parallel or perpendicular or even straight in park just by hitting the button there then I also have a 360 camera that I can bring up on command right here by hitting this button right here that's also my park uh, park pilot button it brings up an overhead view and I can touch quadrants to change which camera shows up and touch the roof and go back to the top armrest right here lots of storage in here I can get a uh, medium-sized person here there's a USB-C connection right there, along with these two up here, so that gives me three up front. Uh, there's also a drop-in safe that you can put in there uh, that will lock your valuables up in there. Over here in the glove box, there's your manuals right there and your supplemental stuff for your uh, uh, ma the manual sup supplements. I can't talk. Uh, tire warranty and what have you are all in here. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof again. Let's take a look at the back seat. As we open this up here, here's a look at those back seats here. Now this one comes in at 54,190. The captain's chairs are extra on this one. Um, I will actually uh, have to post. Actually, I will grab, see if I can grab the window sticker here and go over it, but it's already pulled off since this is a sold unit. I am sitting in the car right here. There's a look at the panoramic sunroof. There's a look at the instrument cluster right there and the center, the center console, armrest and shifter all right there. Now this car does have all wheel drive. It comes standard this way. You have this little knob right here. I'll turn off the camera there. Now by turning this knob to the snowflake, I have a driving mode of snow and I have my equal normal sport and customs. And then over here I have off-road and off-road custom. And by touching up here, I can tweak these different items here and change turn things on and off, turn off, hill start assist, park assist, uh, and change between normal sport or eco. So I can do all of that right there. And just by turning the knob back to the roadway, now I'm back to here. On this, this roadway setup, I have eco, normal, sport, and custom there. I can touch it on the screen, or I can touch the mode button down here and change it without getting fingerprints on the screen. These seats back here, as I said, are heated as well. Lots of leg room back here. There's a look at my socks again there. I have about four to six inches of knee space back here. Magazine pocket right here. And then there's my heated seats for the two rear seats here. If you get a bench, the two outboard seats are heated. The middle seat will not be. But there's your climate control right there. 
two USB C's connect connections right here, and then a 12 volt charger. I'm sorry, a three uh, pl prong plug in right there. There's a look at those seats again. The armrest folds down like that. There's a lock on the side to adjust where it locks in at. And here's a look at those rear seats. That headrest flicks up with the flick of a wrist there. Uh, notice how high off the floor the seats are. So you have uh, a six foot three, six foot four person back here that can sit back here. They're still comfortable. The roof line is sculpted. They're not gonna hit their head and their knees are gonna be well off the floor. So they're not gonna have knees in their chest. Very nice. And I'm gonna try to get to that window sticker there. Let's see if we can grab that there and go over that real quick. The window sticker in this car, as I said before, is 54, 190. The extras on this, 695 for the captain's chairs, uh, 375 for the auto, the home auto dimming mirror, uh, 325 for monster mats, or I'm sorry, mojo mats, uh, and trunk liner and cargo blocks. And then also this one has 230 bucks for a privacy cover in a cargo area. Volkswagen logo puddle lights are 210 and roadside assistance kit is 90 bucks. Bringing you to the 54 190. Very nice. So let's take a look at the rear hatch. Here's a look at those wheels right there. And before we do that, I wanna show you this seat op operation here. You just lift up on the seat to go forward and the seat pitches forward and you can climb into the back there. And this seat does slide forward and back, just like that. And then uh, the bottom drops out, so if you have a car seat or something of that nature in there, you can just tilt it forward. And then the seat goes back, you just lift up and push back, and there's a bar underneath to lift up and push that seat back. Let's take a look at that rear hatch. This does have the easy kick open hatch. They now put a decal on there for you with a QR code. So if you wanna read up on that, I'll zoom in on that. So if you guys want to take a, a picture of that, you can. Uh, there's your QR code right there. And in between the T and the L, you just push the button there and lift up. Here's a look at those Mojo mats. They're embroidered Atlas mats there. There's been a rubber shortage, so they've been doing these a lot more. Um, and then there's your cargo blocks, roadside assistance kit, the front license plate. We leave that off. We put that on on, on request uh, for our artist state buyers. There's a look at the privacy cover still in the plastic there, nested. And then down below that, there is the subwoofer. It's a quick release subwoofer. Your jack apparatus is off to the side and underneath this carpeted floor is the spare. Here's a look through from the back to the front. This is a true six seater right here. There's a look at that panoramic sunroof, the captain's chairs, and then these back seats. These back seats are still reinforced too. There's a top tether on each side. And if I just push down on that, lift up on this guy, push down on that. Now those seats are flat. Those seats there will also fold flat, giving you a flat surface all the way through. That's the setup of my Atlas. Absolutely love it. Those seats are also still reinforced there. That is designed to keep cargo that's back here in the back seat from penetrating these seats and injuring people sitting in those seats in the, in the event of a rear impact crash. C-pillar vents on either side and with the SEO premiums, speakers behind the third row, right here and right here. There's a bag hook off to the right right here hidden trunk light there and also over here 12 volt charger port right here and two usb c's in the back giving you a total of seven usbs in the car the power lift gate the button is right here the close tow hitch right down here at the base is a 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter included now that comes standard on the v6 seo premium r line this car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance. Your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me here at Bomberito St. Peter's in St. Louis, that's Bomberito St. Peter's. I am at the St. Peter's locations. There's two Bomberito Volkswagens in St. Louis. I'm at the, the Bomberito St. Peter's one. I will give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty, as well as a third year of free maintenance. So your 10, 20 and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Make sure you ask for me. You can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up from the airport. This car will come with all of that great stuff. And also you'll have a great buying experience. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. Also, if you're looking to order a car and you're having a hard time getting a car ordered in your local market, you can also give me a call. If you're willing to travel to St. Louis, I can order the car for you. Again, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.